Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute laminated gift tags or toppers. Um, they're, they're really quite, yeah, special. I love them. Um, I wasn't going to do this as a tutorial, I was just enjoying my, you know, afternoon in my craft room. So I've got my cup of tea here. Um, but I thought I would, because I'm sure some of you will get some inspiration from this and want to give it a go. So. I have these two decoupage um, packs from, this one's a first edition by Hell's Couple Ditch and this is a Dovecraft and um, I have used them a few times, the, the toppers that you can make from them are perfect to just put on a gift box um, if you want something quick. Um, but I found I wasn't going to them as much as I thought I would and I was worried that they're just going to end up getting forgotten. So I was thinking of other ways to work them and I have laminated them and it completely transforms them and it makes them into quite a posh looking gift tag, I think. Now these two here I've made into shaker tags and again, they're, they're brilliant. You can see all the dimension there. You, you literally work them, use them just as you would with a normal decoupage um, and, um, and just stick them on top of each other. Now if you don't have decoupage you can still do this. So um, you can fussy cut images, you can die cut images. Um, if you've got like collections that all match together, there are ways to still do this. Um, you could have this as plain paper that you've cut with a circle and then you've got this kind of a, an image of something and you can layer them up that way. So there are ways to do this. I've got them on long bits of ribbon so they're ready to tie around gift bags. Um, it's nice sometimes, you know, there is presents that are too big and I need to buy a big gift bag, but it's just plain and boring. This is going to be perfect now to be able to pop onto those. Um, I haven't done it yet, but I'm just going to die cut some, uh, set, like an oval piece of white card and just stick it on the back with some double-sided tape so I can write my message, my to and from on the back. And the same with these ones here. It just needs a large piece there. They're all stuck down still with foam. Yes, they will come off if you really pick at them, but let's face it, we're not gonna do that. These will last a long time. They're not gonna fall off and they could easily be reused as well, which my mum would probably do if, if she got one of these. So this is what we're gonna make. Um, I finished them with little eyelets as well. I think they're the little details that kind of really make them, you know, that little bit more fancy as well. So, okay. Now I have done one, two, three, four, five, six from the sweet moments and I've only done one from the beach. So I have had a look and I want to do this frog. So I'm going to pull that one out. So he will be a normal um, kind of, uh, this kind of style I guess. And then I'm going to do a shaker style as well, which will be... Let's have a look. These are such lovely images and they're perfect for gift tags. This one here will be a shaker and it's happy birthday. So I'm going to pull that one out of there. Oh, didn't want to come out so well. And I think I'm going to do one more as well because I do like that one. I think that's gorgeous. Oh, it's already pulled out. Look at that one by the sea with love. So they do, they, they, um, they do hold themselves well to be gift tags. We've got that one there, Fun in the Sun. I used that, did I use that one? I used that on my screen fold card, I think, that I've done. Anyway, yeah, so I'll share all the links to these and that's obviously the other ones there. There are more in there, I haven't used them all. Um, I don't think I've done that one. Yeah, you got Time for Tea, did I do? Oh yeah, I did do that one, that's that one. That looks really good because it comes over, you know, it kind of um, comes over the oval shape, so I really do like that one. What was the other one that I didn't? Ah, oh, the cupcake one. But I had the cupcake already set up, so that's what it looks like on its on its own, which is lovely, and that will look great on a card front even. But I just think once they've got that laminated cover on them, they look even more special. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Right, let's get into it. So what you want to do first of all is let's do this one. Is just take everything out. And they're numbered one, two, three, and four, and then there's little extras as well if you want to, you know, give it even more dimension. So I'm just going to go and pull all my pieces out and pile them up on top of each other so you don't get them confused or mixed up with any other ones. Okay, so I've got my laminator just heating up there, and I've just taken one of my A4 pouches, and I'm just going to grab all the bits and just sit them in and give them a nice gap between because... There will be that area directly 
on the edge of all of your whatever it is you're laminating it will be slightly cloudy where it's not um, stuck to the you know they haven't stuck to each other because they're going around this tiny kind of one mil thick card um, so you don't want to cut too close to that otherwise you will end up opening up your laminated pieces so I'm just keeping mine nicely spread out there and that one and then I can get something from another one on the end here because there is still a lot of space um, free so I'm going to do let's do something a bit bigger okay so you just want to cover your piece see if this is just nearly warm nearly ready okay so my green light is now on so this is ready to go through so just hold it up carefully there and just feed that all through I always run mine through twice so I'm going to do this one and then pop them all into another pouch and run them through twice as well okay so they are all laminated I'm just going to turn that down and turn that off okay so they're all laminated okay so now what we need to do is just roughly cut them all out but don't go too close so you can see there if I just bring this one up can you see that's what I mean by that cloudy bit there just a little you can just see it there catching in the, the light this bit here you don't want to cut that because if you cut that it will open it up and then it will just your images um, you know it, they won't fall out because they are stuck but it will just create an opening so when we cut it we'll be cutting about I don't know one eighth of an inch away from that um, it kind of is fussy cutting but you don't have to be that fussy with it because it's clear um, uh, plastic you know the the pouch that we're using you you really don't see it so you can see I'm just being very rough there cutting out all my bits because it makes it easier to cut it overall and this one as well okay so I've got all my pieces roughly cut so now you need to just go around so just I'm not being too careful I'm just staying away from that kind of seal and like I said because it's clear don't worry if it's a little bit kind of messy or skew with you're not going to really see it it's not something that someone's going to look at so there you go, so how quick that was. So that's what you want to do, is just try and cut it out as best as you can. And these make lovely, fun little um, hanging like decorations as well, just on your little um, journals and your mini albums and things like that. So I'm going to sit down now and go through the rest of these. Okay, so I've cut them all out. I've got my three piles, and then I'm going to start to stick them down. So I'm just getting my foam tape and popping it on my greaseproof paper. And this will make it much, much easier for me to cut it and to cut the thinner strips for the shaker one. So it makes it much, much easier to use. It's cheaper and it doesn't ruin your scissors. Okay, so I am going to do this one first. So this is the non-shaker one. So with this one here, all I want to do is just cut a few strips. To just stick on. So if I do one, two, and then three, four, and then I'll do this one in the middle. Squeeze it in. There we go. And basically, just literally do this just as you would if this was you know not laminated so just the normal way that you would do your decoupage because I know that quite a few of you do do decoupage and have it because I done my that um, little book card with the decoupage the hunky dory and lots of you really liked that so I'm sure you have this and then you just line it all up so with this one here you just got to line it up with that inner frame so now already we've got that nice dimension and then it's always that you you do the largest first, then the second, and then the third, and you end up your smallest pieces are your last pieces. So that's the easiest way to, because I haven't got that bit with one, two, three, four. Obviously, keep that out if you're not familiar with um, decoupage and how it works. But the easiest way to remember is you start with your largest first and just work your way down. Um, and just squeeze again. Squeeze that one in there. 
So I'm going to layer this one all up. And there you go. So now you can see all that dimension, how cool that looks. And then all I need to do now is just um, die cut um, a square just to go on the back. And then I'm going to do my little... Actually, I'll do that afterwards. I'm going to now put a hole punch. So I'm going to hole punch just... Probably should have done this one first for this one. I didn't realise it was going to come down so low. But I'm just going to go over it a bit there. Okay. And then I've got my... Grab my little eyelets, pop that one in there. And there you go. So that just needs the ribbon. So that's that one. Now I'm going to show you how to do the shaker one. So you've already got your shaker window all done. That's the thing I like about this. It's like instant, it's really good. And that may be a new way that I start doing my shaker cards um, is laminating it because yeah, I think it's great. Okay, so this is the biggest bit. Okay, so that's gonna go down first. So what we wanna do is make a very, very thin strip of um, this foam so that we can stick it all around that frame so that none of our sequins fall out too. Okay, and then what you want to do is grab the end, just like I do in my shaker videos, just work it around. And this is a much, much cheaper way than buying that very expensive shaker card tape, which doesn't go far. You won't get many cards from it either. Um, so this is my, I've always done it this way. So that's that one. And then grab another end here. There we go. Make sure you join it right up again so that you're not going to have anything. And just twist it around. Don't worry about the top backing because once you take that off, it will all, you know, become straight again and in place. So. And then just trim that right off so it's right up and you can see there. Okay. Then we've got this piece and now we need to add our sequins. So I've just got these ones that match, these pinky ones. So I'm just going to grab a bundle of them there. And you just want to make sure you keep it all within that frame, she says, and then it pushes them out everywhere. You can use your anti-static on this as well, your buddy, just go around it like I've done before, but because I'm using the plastic anyway, it's, it's you're always going to kind of have a static, so I'm not going to worry too much. Okay, so they're all in that pink frame, you don't want them coming out, and then just take off the backing here, like so, make sure you've got nothing in there that shouldn't be, and then just stick your frame over. The other one. I'm just going to bring it down so I can see right over it. There we go. And now I've got my shaker. And the sentiment and the picture, it doesn't matter that you've covered it because now with the decoupage, we're going to then put that over the top. We're going to put our happy birthday and we're going to layer it all up. So it, it, this is, I really have liked doing it this way. I think it's really, really quite fun. So again, I've done them too big, I can do them in half. One. And you can see it doesn't take long. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm taking too, too much care, but that's not to mean I'm, I'm rushing it, I'm not rushing it by any means, but you don't have to, you know, be too precise with these. So now you need to roughly kind of see obviously where you're sticking this so that looks about right there we go and then the happy birthday so I need a thinner piece that's too thin let's just cut another bit that we go. and again I can just about see it like so and then these three 
are each of the animals. So that one, the bear and the dog. So I'm just going to stick them down. Okay, and there's that one. You can see all that dimension. It's just a really fun shaker tag. So I do like that one a lot. So now I'm going to finish this one, which is the same process as that one. So I'm going to get that one all stuck down. Okay, so that's the one that I showed you before. Just pop the ribbon through that, ready to go on, whatever it is. And then this one here, look how cute that one is. Oh, I think he's lovely. The little uh, <laughs> the little dog there, just he's just got such a sweet face. And then literally just threading through a matching piece of a ribbon there, just on the corner. And there you go. So I've just got to, like I said, put my um, plain paper on the back there so I can write on it. But they are ready and they are all going to go into my tub of tags and uh, yeah absolutely love them so hopefully i've inspired you there something else to do with your laminating machines i know a lot of you are really enjoying this kind of other um way to incorporate you know uh your paper crafting with your laminator so i love it yeah hope you did please subscribe and hit the like button and i'll be back again in a couple of days thanks for watching bye